You can't cut cabbage? This is really is starting to be embarrassing. Come on, guys. You've got to pick up the pace. Al's starting to freak out. He's pretty concerned that we're not going to get there. Whatever happens, when those guests are sitting down waiting to eat, I want to see food appearing on the table. Chef, I can't let you cut cabbage. I will cut cabbage. Thank you. You know we're not in a good space when Al's chopping cabbage. Can you hear that? Yeah, no. It's like it is half a dozen wooden like chorus in there. tune of knives. <laughs> I'm seriously worried. It's too late if we're doing cabbage at this hour. Are we okay? Yeah. Nice ball shoots. I've got to start seeing some haddock being topped with rare bits soon. Yes, Chef. Who would have thought, eh? They're obviously having a bit of a howl around they? It's just a little bit disappointing that they haven't sort of prioritised. Got no more hands to help you out, guys. Let's go. This, the judge is chopping cabbages right next to me. Gary's chefs are in here, and it's pretty chaotic. So everybody's cutting cabbage except us. That's not a good look. You haven't lost the touch. Are you happy with that? I'm happy with it. How are you going, Mr Emmett? I'm going bloody good, actually. It's a bit slower, though. Just tell you what, more precise, though. That's what it's all about, <laughs> eh? I start prepping the fish, and I'm getting faster and accomplishing so many things in a short span of time. Half an hour left. Everyone's cut your cabbage. Cabbage does not cook itself. Now I just need to get onto my cabbage and my oriental sauce, because those are flavours that need to infuse and caramelise, so they're both going to take a bit of time. I can see some cabbage cooking. Yes, that's me, that's me. I'm ahead, I'm onto it. I guess three of you are serving coleslaw. That'll look right. good, won't it? Start thinking about getting this cabbage on. Yes, sir. That can be cooking while you're blanching tomatoes. Who knew simple could be so difficult? It's not. It's a little bit of organisation that's going a little bit awry, I yeah. think. I thought Tim did a great move. He organised his fish first. He didn't yep. go to the meringue, but now he's done his meringue. He should be in good shape. A bit worried about Leo. First 45 minutes in here was too quiet. There was no hustle and bustle, no, no, was no, there? No, 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 no. Glenda said she was going to go out hard and fast, and I'm not sure she did. Because if they ran like this, the from the beginning, we'd be all over it. We'd be in way better shape. Who else has got to top some haddocks? Me, still. I'm trying to peel tomatoes, and I've got cabbage going, but there's too much chaos going on, and I'm really struggling with that. I actually don't have a single thought in my mind apart from what I'm doing in front of me, which is not good because you need to be multitasking. <sighs> Leo? Yes, Chef. Have you checked on your meringue? Oh, yes, Chef, it's here. In the fridge? Is yeah. that where they're meant to be? Get that in the freezer. Get that in the freezer. So immediately I took them out of the fridge and then chucked them in the freezer. Come on, get in the game, Leo, please. Don't let me down. I'm just really hoping that uh, they will set. Those guests are going to be with us in about two minutes, yes? I've already done four plates. Oh my gosh, I need to season them. I don't know how you plate with those hands. I'm trying to plate with my hands that won't stop shaking, and I just want to yell at them to chill. I'm trying to take some big, deep breaths in order for my body to relax, but I just cannot keep my hands still. Incoming guests, incoming guests. Two hours is just flown by. They're all arriving. And these are famous people. These are foodies of Dubai. So we need to do Gary's dishes justice and not let him down. I want to start to see some haddocks go under the grills. We need to get these out. I've got them under the grill. I have a little bit of an issue because I can't see if my rabbit is cooking or getting brown. We're in service at one of the greatest kitchens in Dubai. And we're leaving you with Gary. Make us proud. I feel completely out of my depth here. It's just go, 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 go. Some haddock is coming up. Lovely. My entree might be a little bit more rustic, but that's what Ralph Rabbit is. And me. All right. Choose your best one to go to the judge. Yes, Chef. I'm looking at him, I think. Yes, Chef. That looks beautiful. I'm just so happy that I've got everything on a plate and I've finished the entree. It feels so good to be able to smash one out and tick that box. I hope the diners on my table love it. So dishes one, two, three and four. If we're looking at presentation, I'd give it to three. Definitely three. Beautiful gratination on the Welsh rabbit. I totally agree, and I think you've got really nice caramelisation just around this top area here. That is absolutely beautiful. Number two, you know... Cut the fish wrong, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, not a great piece of fish. Number four... Something's happened. ..should be leaving the building. I mean, that's a disaster, isn't it? Right, dish number one. Uh, 
the rabbit's a little bit dry. Mm. So it has doesn't, have, or something it doesn't it. have that richness and no. that moistness, does it? It should be more sort of Mornay-ish. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of more oil yeah. fact if yeah. he wasn't there. The cheese was delicious, but unfortunately slightly overcooked. Dish number two. I actually like the rare bit. I think there's some nice flavour, but gee whiz, if you didn't have that there, that would be a very bland dish. It is only the rare bit that saved it, bringing that saltiness from the cheese into the dish. I think I'm doing okay. I've got everything under control. I'm happy with my cabbage. I can't believe how much that whole cabbage has reduced down to just this small amount. So I need to make sure when I do go to plate that I don't run out of cabbage. But I've got the exact amount of cabbage for the seven plates that I've got to do. And then the moment this finishes, I'm giving you 30 minutes to get that dessert looking just amazing. I'm doing my presentation slightly differently. Playing with something that Gary's done for a long time, it is a risk, but if I'm given the opportunity to put myself on a plate, I'm gonna take that opportunity. I'm plating up and I try to replicate how Gary's dish looks like. I check my sauce, it is too sweet, but I have no choice but to put sauce on. And let's move quickly. I'd rather see food go out hot and tasty rather than stone cold and pretty. Yes, chef. I'm happy with the lamb. Sauce is this really dark, sweet, spicy deliciousness. Ready to go? You're ready to go. I would okay. like that one to go to the judges. Okay. Service here, one to the judges, please. My main goes out. I'm really proud of what I've been able to do. That was a manic 30 minutes. To get that out, I'm really happy. One dish to go. Completely different looking plates, really, in front of us. It's thrown me a little bit. The number two is definitely throwing me. So, dish number one. Nice and pink. The cabbage, that beautiful, sweet, sort of relishy cabbage, I think I've got that perfect. I, I thought the lamb was beautiful. I thought, overall, I thought it was great. I really like it. I think the lamb's cooked beautifully. I like the char in there. I think it needs more seasoning, a little bit more salt. The cabbage is beautiful. I wish I had more of that. <laughs> so, dish number two. It's actually not too bad. I'm not 100% happy with the sauce. It's still a bit thin, but I haven't got time, and that's a little heartbreaking. It's pretty smooth. Meringues very soon, yeah? Yes, Chef. 15 minutes, guys. 15 minutes. Someone took my meringues. I'm with Mine were on that side, so Leo might have taken them. You need to check with Leo. Leo, yo, you got my meringues. Take mine. Where's uh, mine? No, he might want his own. I want mine. Leo's managed to steal my meringues. That's not okay. Where's mine? Oh, these yours. I spent a bit of time on those suckers. That's it. They're yours. I don't know how it happened. Thankfully, they're all set. I take my meringues out of the molds. They're perfect. We've got to go now, and we've got the dried raspberries here for you to help yourselves. I've got a gun, and I'm not scared to use it. That's what I like to hear. I've got my gun going, and I'm happy with how my meringues have set. I get a great caramelisation on the top. My little squirts of chocolate on there. It's the prettiest dessert I've ever made. They look all right. As long as I put all the components in a the plate, then I'll be a happy man. You're five minutes late on dessert, guys. OK, come on, time is of the essence, come on. Plating was a bit clumsy. I was rushed trying to get that out. It's hectic. It was just a bit of a shame I left the freeze-dried raspberries off. OK, yep. There is nothing I can do now. I've sent everything out. Oh. How'd you do, man? I did bad. You good? That was huge. Oh, God, that was by far my favourite challenge. I loved it. I love the British about it. It has had me all over it, so ah. I'm happy. Um, I just hope the judges are happy too. I just look at them straight away and I go here. I think it's a, a beautiful looking meringue. I think it's a modern style of plating. Everything about it just looks really spot on. Plate number one, should we get into sure. it? I 
think with contestant ones play, the, the meringue's actually not that bad. Yeah, it's, it's great. A little bit light, a oh. little bit light, but not, there's still marshmallow in it. And the anglaise, a little bit thin. I, I just don't think that they've, they've cooked the anglaise. No. Uh, they've had enough time. No. Oh, it's so light. Ailey, your dessert. I know. Okay, here we go. This is when they're going to drop the bomb. What do you think about your dessert, Hayley? Um, I mean, I was proud of it for what I did. Because, yeah, I'm not so good on the old desserts. Well, I can tell you, you should be proud because it looked a million bucks and it ate like a million bucks. We all said it was our first 10 out of 10 for the whole season. Take a bow, my dear. First, first 10 out of 10 for the whole season. Oh, my God. I literally just want to jump out of my skin with excitement. Congratulations. You are top three. Top three. Oh my god. The challenges are only going to get harder. The someone going home is only going to get more intense. Tim, today you showed a bit of daring and a lot of nous. You won in the desert with Leah, and that's good enough. You're in the top three, mate. Well done. Well done, Tim. I can't believe it. To be top three in MasterChef New Zealand, I'm so proud and so happy. Both Hayley and Tim, they're on the top three. And now uh, just me and Glenda left. Glenda, Leo, here we are again. I feel like I'm going home today in my gut. It's a very, very surreal feeling. I am pretty convinced that I'm going home today because of that lamb. Glenda, your main was best. Leo, your entree was best. There was nothing between your desserts. You know what that means, Glenda. I know I'm going home. It comes down to our first challenge in the desert, to be the decider. Yep, but I'm totally OK with that. I was out of my depths today. I felt it the whole day. Leo. You won in the desert, you are safe. Thank you. I am in the top three. Glenda is going home. I'm just trying to hold back. I think I haven't been so emotional in my life you know, in this journey. Glenda, you've got this lovely aura about you that everyone adores you. You're a great Thank cook. You. You've got such a, a great future ahead of you. You really have. Thank you very much. Glenda, what an amazing, amazing journey. Yep. The highs, the lows, the wins, <laughs> the losses. <laughs> You are a true inspiration. I look forward to see where you go. I'm actually really proud of myself. I love these guys. Oh. I can't wait to see how they go. <laughs> oh, goodness. When I look back, I still wouldn't change anything. <laughs> some definite highs and there's been some definite lows. But without contrast, you can't appreciate the good things in life. Gutted that I'm not going forward anymore, but that's what life's about. It is what it is. See ya. Bye bye. My food dream is still to have restaurants, and I'm going back to do that. <laughs>